Today we talk about the time trial series again, it's been a while. Win some, lose some, it's about taking risks, about going full for it. Dare to, to lose everything by taking a shot at winning. Just winning it. Um, if you if you want to become a time trialist, you have to ride super fast, you have to be super idle, and you have to look for the marginal gains, but going fast through the corners are no marginal gains, they are just gains. You can go fast through a corner, but you also can, can go super fast through a corner, and you can take risks to even go faster. Some risks can cause crashes. I've had I've had some crashes before in time trials and you may think at that point that you were um, stupid and you shouldn't have uh, taken all those risks but um, I have had corners also in time trials I remember once the uh, opening time trial in the Giro in Jerusalem that I was slipping with two wheels in one corner in that same corner in the recon of the parkour a rider crashed and had to abandon the race even before it started so we knew it was a tricky corner but you cannot um, at the highest level it's impossible to to give away some time so you have to go um, with with risks to corners and in the end of the time trial i was still 1.3 seconds short on the maglia rosa so i there was one corner that i took way to to save so I should have taken more risks because what being third in a, in a time trial is cool, but it's nothing compared to winning. You should win time trial, so you should take risks. Before this video goes on, first is And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Maybe at 10k we can do a giveaway. And yeah, I, I've had some crashes, so so sometimes um, people question uh, your cornering technique um, if you go too fast through, through a corner you will always crash i um, i am a guy and i try to leave nothing to chance and so i i took um, cornering lessons this winter i invited oscar Saez, a spanish man um, to my home and we did some cornering technique it was quite interesting um, he analyzed also a bit of my um, previous mistakes I made and we, we were um, improving my cornering with first real basic steps also very analytically how to break before the corner how to enter the corner how to be in the corner yeah we did also analyze the crash in Yorkshire the problem was that my center of gravity was too far away from my bike um, and that's why my and i was also too much in front of of at my bike that's why my front wheel slipped Here he is. i think it's it's something really useful but you should practice it every day i go um, I, I do some corners, I try to go up and down them and, and try to do it as smooth as possible. Will I never crash anymore after this um, cornering technique? For sure I will still crash because I will always try to look for the limits. Um, if you, if you know you are going to crash and, and you've crashed before and you know how much it hurts, how do you cope with the fear of crashing? Um, I have to say I never crashed really hard that I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, by crashing in a corner I never really had uh, big, big problems, big, um, let's say, uh, broken, broken bones or stuff like that. The only bad crashes I had was once a sports director that um, that had to brake in the car and I was behind his car so I dived into his back window and I broke some bones and then another time I forgot to look up in my time trial 
and um, and I just went straight in the corner and I broke some teeth, I broke my nose and I get a con I had a confusion. Was not the most pleasant thing, um, but by just uh, doing bad cornering or do taking too much risk in cornering, I never never had any uh, real big problems. So what about the thumbnail? The picture you all like so much. What happened in the Giro during this bike change? This had nothing to do with crashing. It was just to 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 get your attention. Did it work? Like if it worked. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Maybe at 10k we can do a giveaway.